Hello everybody, it's John from Music Generation Waterford here for the Well Festival of Arts and Wellbeing. In this video, the first video of our beatboxing series, I'm going to be showing you the fundamental basics of beatboxing. And if you don't know what beatboxing is, basically it's just a really cool way for us to mimic the sounds of a drum kit using only our mouth. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the basic sounds that make up a drum kit, how we can make those sounds, and then how we can put those sounds together to make a pattern or a beat. So the basic sounds that make up a drum kit are the kick drum, which is the bass drum, and then the hi-hat, which are the cymbals, and then the snare, which is the really cracky, punchy sound. Or so if I put all those sounds together, we can make up a nice basic beat, and that sounds like this. And now we're going to take a closer look at those sounds, starting with the kick drum. So to make the sound of the kick drum, we make a B or a P sound with our lips, a punchy sound. So we build up a little bit of air behind our lips, a little bit of pressure, and then we release. We kind of force it out. We're not breathing out, we're not saying bah, bah. We just want the sound of our, that our lips are making. For our next sound then, we have the hi-hat, which is probably the simplest of the three sounds. And to make that sound, we're going to make a T noise. Now again, we're not making the sound T, like T, we're keeping it nice and short. So we put the tip of our tongue against the roof of our mouth, let a bit of air build up behind, and then we release. And then for our final sound, we have the snare, and we have three different snares to choose from. So first I'm going to show you the K snare. So we make a K noise in our throat, we build up a little bit of air, gently, a little bit of pressure, and then we release. Then our second snare sound is a PF sound, where we start off by making the sound the kick drum makes, but we immediately follow it by an F sound. And we're not trying to make a word, puff, puff, we're just shorting it down. And then for our final snare sound, it's very similar to the PF one, but it's a PSH, P SH. So again, we start with our kick, but we follow up by a shh. And you're trying to get these sounds as short as possible. Okay, so now that we know all of our sounds, and once you've practiced them enough, we can go on and put them together in a pattern to make a beat. Now for our pattern, we're going to take four slots, and we put one sound in each slot. So this time, we're going to put our kick drum in slot one, our hi-hat in slot two, our snare in slot three, and another hi-hat in slot four. And once you get past four, you just repeat it back to one, and so on. Now, if you repeat the pattern a few times and you find that you start to run out of breath, there's a little technique we can use to sneak in a breath because we don't want to run out of air and then have a big breath and throw off the rhythm. So we just take our hi-hat sound, our t, and we follow up by a really quick inward But you don't have to use it every time around, just when you naturally feel like you need a bit more air. And so those are the fundamental basics of beatboxing. Now it's up to you to practice those sounds and then once you're more comfortable with it, try to come up with your own sounds and your own rhythms and most importantly, just have fun with it. 